Hey, what's up? It's the Wing Chun Kid. Today we're going to talk about some butterfly knife techniques. Okay, in Wing Chun we have the Bat Zam Do or the 8 slash technique and they use these cool butterfly knives. Alright, so we're going to show you a few techniques for these butterfly knives. Here we go. Hey, what's up? So we're going to show you a first basic Wing Chun parry and strike. It's called in the Bat Zam Do form. Alright, here. Okay, so parry and strike. What I'm doing is just parrying with my left hand like this. Make sure that this is on the side of your body so that nothing gets in the inside. It's on the outside. If something comes this way, and at the same time, I'm just gonna do a forward slash. You notice that this slash is not a slash like that. It actually goes out in a curve like this, direct straight line. This point goes directly out. Okay, so if it's coming this way, first of all, I need to move out of the way. I'm not gonna stay in the same spot. If I stay in the same spot and just do this, if he's really has a stiff attack, he's still gonna hit me because my swords are not heavy enough to redirect it. So first of all, I need to be able to get out of the way by stepping off to the side, okay? Again, either to the left or to the right, okay? Now when I'm stepping off to the side, make sure I'm not stepping off into a triangle. I have to make sure that I step in on a triangle so that I can reach him. Because if I don't step in, if I just step sideways, directly sideways, I can't reach him with my attack. So I have to make sure that I parry and step in on a, on a triangle so that I'm here. Alright, some people think that those uh, fancy weapons are not useful in the street. But in Bat Zam Do actually is quite useful in the weapon. Okay? As you can see, if it's knife against knife, you have a weapon, he's got a weapon, you want to put this out in front so that you can meet his weapon, right? Okay, step on the side, same idea, and go for the forearm. Okay, you don't want to go for a knife because this is too small of a target. Just go for an entire forearm, you can cut something, right? At the same time, you got a punch here. Okay, so same as it, Bajando, instead of having a stab, you're just using this as a punch. Okay, one more time. So, step on the side, boom, punch here. Okay? By the time he's cut his hands off, his knife is gonna come off, right? And then now you have much good, much better position for any kind of attack, okay? So that's how you can use Batsam Do, this technique in a uh, fighting situation. All right, here's the second technique. It goes like this, parry and slash in the Batsam Do form, okay? So, okay, so what I'm doing is First of all, starting this with position, we're doing the Guan Sao and then slash. Guan Sao, this comes up, slash. You can also go Guan Sao and just slash in the underneath. Or you can go Guan Sao, bring this up over top, slash out. Okay, so I'll show you one again. Okay, so once again, like the other one, I have to make sure I get out of the way. Either to the right or to the left. Okay, because this might not be powerful enough to stop it. See, oh, I still get stabbed, okay? So what this is, is just a deflection to make sure you go down slightly, and then this comes up, slash to the throat, okay? Or if I go here, and slash to the knee also, okay? If I go the other direction, right? Same thing, slash this way, right? Right, so that's the second technique. All right, here's the defense useful in a street defense situation with knives. Ba Zhan Do is actually quite useful in street self-defense self situation. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using the same movement with the knives, but now I'm just using a regular knife, wooden knife. It comes in, I parry. If I got a double-edged knife, I can peel it off this way. Okay, I like to use this one to trap this one. And then if I don't want to kill the guy, I just use the butt of the handle of my knife right in the temple, in the eye, okay? If this is a serious situation and you really want to kill the guy, don't do it, okay? You can use the knife, right? But just use the butt of the knife, boom, okay? Or even if you don't have a knife, if you don't have a knife, you can use the same, same thing, okay? When it comes, right, you're stabbing. First of all, get out of the way, okay? Boom, boom, same idea. Okay, so most importantly, you got to get out of the way, right? Don't stay in the same place because 
that knife attack will come fast and furious. And if you can't block it with your knife fast enough, you're gonna get stabbed. So first of all, get out of the way, do some kind of technique, control the knife holding arm and just attack back. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna combine both of those movements from Bata and Do in this attack. Okay, so boom. Do that. Okay, so same thing. First movement is this one, he blocks it. I'm gonna to switch to the second one. Okay, so I'm doing this. He blocked this one, so I'm gonna to switch to the second one. Okay, one more time. The other way, block this one. This is checking here, this is slashing here. All right, so I hope you had fun with this video and hope you can train uh, with this uh, weapon technique and use it in self-defense. Hey, thanks for watching my Wing Chun Butterfly Nice video. Thanks to my friend Karaginin Singh, far from the east, coming here to help me train with this uh, technique. And uh, just be careful, we're using metal knives here, but we don't recommend training with metal knives unless you've had a lot of practice. Uh, you can start training with just plastic knives or just uh, cardboard wrap up with duct tape or wooden knives, okay? So just be careful when you train. If you like this lesson, make sure you subscribe to, do, uh, to this video and so to this channel so you get more cool stuff like this. And check out some of my other videos too. All right. Okay, so this is Wing Chun Kid. I'll see you soon.